So will the 323 run on DCC? Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Just a very short video just to explain what I'm planning to do to get this DCC 323 running, or running even. <laughs> anyway, this is the chassis that comes with it and obviously that fits back to back and there are plastic spaces in the middle there. Now, I can't be totally certain what was causing the short, but that's the motor and what i'm thinking is that somehow um, i isolated all of this because obviously that would sit in there and that would instantly cause a short because that metal wraps around the motor so i wrapped all um, insulating tape around that across the terminals both sides obviously um, so the only thing i can think of is that somehow with all that packing around this it wasn't sitting in here straight and so therefore, maybe one of the flywheels was catching the inside of that. Other than that, I've no idea. But to be honest with you, that's gone. Okay. Now, what I've gone ahead to do and is to create my own version of the chassis. Now, it is it does look a bit different to that. And the reason being is I've tried to cut out... Um, sections across the top so I can put car weights into these parts here that hopefully anyway and there's still enough space to mount the decoder on the top um, that's the general idea of it anyway and also you might notice it's a little bit rough and ready uh, that is because from the original design and print I've had to do some modifications because the motor was gumming up now if I put that in there so this these terminals sit in that space there like that now i've just got a blanking plate in there at the moment the term the bogies have now been wired up so they're opposite opposites and i've got red running on this side and black running on that side now back with the dc controller again you might just be able to see that there there you go the, the combi it should, there you go, you can see the motor is now running. If I press on it, so that is a good promising start. And then if I put that on there, I was getting binding, but So you can see that's now running on D on DC. I've got a six pin socket there now. So my hope is that I can put a six pin decoder in that. And in theory, it should run. So now I've got it back on DC again, working. I'm going to reposition these into there. And then hopefully that will run with the wheels. Now... I did put screw holes in there, but you can see that one of them's literally just broken off. So I'm just going to rat tape around it. I think that'll probably be sufficient, to be honest with you. And then if it does work loose, I can wrap a bit around the ends. Okay, catch you shortly. Blimey, I'm beginning to think I wasn't going to get back to this stage. There's been so much happened since the last clip um, that wires were breaking left, right and centre. Um, I had that one of those decoders actually blow up on the DC. Um, maybe because I put too much power through it. I don't know. But watch. Hopefully I've got it going the right way. Finally. 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 On DC again. I finally got it running with the 3D printed chassis. You can't tell me how relieved. Or can't say how relieved I am to see that. Now. I'm going to see if I can find that DCC decoder again or another one at least and then hopefully swap them out. I've been looking at the prices of brand new ones. Oh my life, they've gone up hugely. Um, the Backman one that I used to use, £25 worth, was now £46, nearly double. 
unbelievable. So it won't be one of those going in there. I promise you that, unless I'm fine one I've already used. Right, so let's see about getting the DCC fitted now. Catch you later. Feeling a bit cautious. Z21. And there's the carriage. On address three. Are my eyes deceiving me? Or is this actually running on DCC? You can see the decoder in it, just there. No, this can't be real. <laughs> it just can't be real. Right, I'm going to see now. I've obviously got to get the sides all blacked up because you will see that through the windows and then I'll see if it fits in the carriage. <laughs> What's the chances it won't? <laughs> Catch you later. Well, did it fit? No, don't be silly. <laughs> um, what was happening was it was all it actually the shell physically went into the body shell, the chassis physically fitted in, but it was pinching so much at the bogey ends that actually the bogies were really stiff and causing derailments. So what I had to do is on the chassis, I had to sort of scrape off the ends and sort of chamfer it in a little bit so take off a bit here take off a bit here and vice versa at both ends and by doing that as you can see they're quite free now and they do tilt up and down which is the type of thing you want so let's move on well once i've got all that sorted out uh, you may have noticed i've made the odd couple of modifications um the pantograph um, I decided I was going to buy some and I'd already got them on, on order when I actually fitted that other one but I just wanted to get it done for last week's video but it made sense as I got the new ones come to switch them over so I'll show you what they are i.e. these incoming so that's what they are and you see there's two in a pack and that's what it was if anybody's interested but uh, so I I thought it, as I'd got them, it made sense just to change it. Now, just be aware though, it does not come with a base. So you have to, it's designed obviously as a replacement part. So the base would already be on the locomotive. So what I had to do here was 3D print like a base plate and then four little columns, if you like. And then I put a slit in each of them sort of in different directions so that the, the four arms if you, of the pantograph could then just slot into those i did have to file off the um there's like a brass fixing underneath you could just about make it out there so i had to file that off for it to sit low enough so it goes underneath the catenary but i think i'm all right with that now you might be thinking what's this well, this is a modified chassis. Um, I was thinking about the amount of weight that was in this. Now, I've put two five gram wheel weights about there in the roof area. But there was nothing on the bottom. And physics says that if a train is going around a corner and there's too much weight, it's going to tilt it out like that. So... There's a possibility the train, I wouldn't say it would come off the track, but it might lean a little bit too much, causing maybe other carriages to derail. I don't know. So what I've decided to do was um, put some into the chassis. I have, as you can see, there, I've got a little bit of space. And so I removed the foam uh, self-adhesive that comes with these wheel weights, cut it off with a scalpel and then just planted them in there so they should be nice and fixed that should then and the yep that's the right side slot onto that just nicely an actual fact that's not a bad weight to be honest for something that's 3d printed whether it's quite as heavy as the one with the metal chassis i'm not totally sure but you know, I'm quite pleased with that. And you shouldn't have any issues pulling the two trailer cars either side. So, is it going to work on the layout? We'll find out. Speak soon.
Well, there we go. Finally, finally, finally. The 323 is working on Piccadilly on DCC. And yeah, it's been quite a journey as you can, as you've known. But uh, I mean, even putting it on the track, it seemed to be a bit of a terrible runner for the start. Um, constant derailing of the end carriages. And, and that's probably because the bogey uh, pins, if you like, were slightly out of alignment. Then I found out the wheels weren't sitting in the uh, cups properly. So it's one thing after the other. But as you can see, it's running perfectly well. It's not the fastest train as you will ever imagine. And that is almost full speed. I'm just so pleased to have it running. <laughs> anyway, I will leave you now to, with a couple more running shots and I will say bye-bye. Right, I will see you again soon here on Piccadilly. You take care of yourself now. Bye for now.